Hi, so this very quick video is going to show you how to use the new AI features in Microsoft Power Automate, um, otherwise known as Copilot, um, to create an automation that's going to take information inputted by customers, clients, etc. into a Microsoft form and take that information and automatically populate a SharePoint list with the key information that I want to get from that feedback. So in order to prepare for the creation of this automation script that you'll see, uh, you'll see on the left hand side here, I have a form. So this has got a bunch of um, different questions within it. We're going to ask for feedback around a number of things. So uh, their name, organizational name, those kind of things. And then we're going to ask them to uh, provide us with information about the feedback of the this Microsoft 365 Copilot briefing session that we're going to do. So we're going to ask them the basic things, you know, are you satisfied, who's your name, those kind of things. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see I've got a brand new Microsoft list that I've created. So I've populated a handful of fields, so this isn't every field that's represented within the form, just the key things that I want to pull out. And the goal here like I said at the beginning, is to take the information within the form every time someone else completes it and have that information populated into the list, which is a pretty simple request that I see. Um, today, that's not possible to do that natively within the product set. So Microsoft Forms outputs to um, Excel or you can access the, the content within the form, but actually it'd be quite nice to be able to stick it into a SharePoint list. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. So here I am in Microsoft Power Automate. So if you're familiar with this, you, you'll, you'll notice this is a slight change. If you're not familiar with this, uh, then this is Power Automate. Uh, it's a really powerful uh, engine that enables you to uh, do robotic process automation, RPA, or perform simple tasks uh, based on the, the kind of ethos of if this happens, then do that. Uh, so today I am simply going to use the automation tools within here to do this for me, rather than use the step-by-step -step wizards and things that are, are built in or templates. And there are a huge amount of templates to be able to use in Power Automate for almost anything you might want to do. But for the purpose of this, I am simply gonna pop over here to the, to the text box and describe the automation that I wanna create. So you can see here, as I start to type the text, you'll see that uh, Copilot is actually coming up with different suggestions of things that, that I may want to do. So I want to add it to a SharePoint list. So add form answers to a SharePoint list when a form is submitted. So that sounds like what I'm trying to create. So I'm gonna click on that. And what will now happen is the tool will go away in the background and have a look at creating that uh, power automation for me so you can see now that this is working on this for me and it's going to start creating that form so here we go so um this looks pretty good actually so the trigger is going to be when a new form is submitted so a trigger is the thing that starts the automation to happen so in this case when a new response is submitted then that's my trigger right brilliant um the next thing is what is the action that i want to perform so at this point when the new form is submitted, I want to get the response details from that form and I want to create a new item in a SharePoint list. Brilliant. Now, I could, of course, make this more complicated. I could check if the form exists first. I could, I could, you know, there's lots of different things I could do with this. I can provide conditions. Uh, I can send emails based on form responses, all these kind of things. But I'm going to keep this really simple. Um, if it's not what I'm looking for, then I can try again. Um, I can modify my prompt up here and make it more complex should I, should I wish to do that. Um, I'm quite happy with this, so I'm gonna click on next. So what now happens is it's gonna check that for all the services I need to have access to, I've actually got access to. So you can see here, it's, it's picked out Microsoft Forms and SharePoint, and the tick over here shows that I do actually have access to that. If I need to authenticate as someone else or a shared account, then obviously I can do that here. Um, so great, so I'm, I'm happy to go with this. I'm now gonna click on create flow. This will create the flow for me, which I can then customize as I need to. So just wait a couple of seconds while it creates. 
and here we go. So this is the simple flow that Power Automate has created. And you'll see here, all I've done is ask questions. Now, um, you'll notice here that uh, there's some big red boxes, right? So it's telling me here that, you know, there's invalid parameters, invalid parameters, invalid parameters. So it still needs me to give it some information. Now, um, if I know the particular context of, or the form name or the SharePoint list or those kind of things that I need to create, then I can actually just type this text directly into here. Um, and tell Copilot what those things are and it will update the form for me. For the purpose of this, um, I'm gonna simply click on the form and enter that information as I go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on here for the form. Now, it's asking me to pick a form, so it needs to know what the form ID is. If I know the form ID, um, I probably wouldn't know that and I can type it in but if I click on the down list here <clears throat> you'll see this simply opens up uh, a list of all the forms that, that I've used so I'm going to type in um, copilot because it's my copilot briefing call I want to do you see there's actually a couple here um, so I'm going to pick on this one here copilot briefing feedback form so I've now clicked on that form and that's what I need to do here this is now uh, accepted that you can see now the the red uh, invalid parameter line has gone so that's great it's accepted that um, I now need to tell the form what uh, I want to use right so um, I, I now need to basically tell it what are those form parameters I want to pull in and which ones I want to ignore so I click down here where it says create item and what it now wants to know is, uh, it needs to know that the address of where the SharePoint list is. So um, you can easily get to that by going to the URL of the SharePoint list, uh, uh, scrolling back through and find the, the site name, or you can just type it in. So I know what the t I know what the site is. So I've just typed the name of the site. Um, it's then going to ask me for the SharePoint list name. So if that SharePoint site contains multiple lists, these lists will be contained here. Again, if I know the information, I can type it in. I don't have very many at all in here. So I'm just going to pick uh, this one here. That's my Copilot briefing client feedback list. What will now happen is you'll see here, this is now pulling out the, the parameters that are actually stored within that list. So these are all the fields. Uh, that are available for me to connect to and pull the feedback on. So all I simply need to do is click on the drop down list here. And these are all the fields that were in the SharePoint list that I created earlier on. So here you can see I've just quickly switched back to the SharePoint list and you can see some of these field names across here. So we can see overall satisfaction, um, expectations met, good event feedback, and you can see these fields um, down here. So I'm going to select these because these are all the fields that I actually want to pull in. Uh, that's why I created the list. So I'm going to populate those now. So here I've just selected all the list items that I want to use. Once I've done that, what happens is the form updates uh, to show me, well, okay, these are the parameters that you want to pull in. Actually, where are they? So what I now need to do is is connect or, or link the fields within the form to the fields within the SharePoint list. And to do that's really simple. Um, I simply click on the field, I hit the slash uh, button and, I'll, and say insert dynamic content. Uh, this will now pull out all the different entries within the form. And you'll see here there's, there's entries here that I haven't referenced because I don't want to pull all the information in from the form, just the key information that I may want to report on. So you'll see here I've got uh, your job role and title. Um, so I can pull those fields in. I can pull in um, literally all of these. So all I need to do is simply click, click on one of these, go to the dynamic content, uh, I want to pull in the name of the company, so organization name, um, hopefully self-explanatory. If they're not, I can go back and check. I'm going to click on that. That's going to pull that one in. I want to know the name of the employee. So again, I'm going to grab the content from here and ask for their name. So name will be down here somewhere. There we go, your name, etc. So I'm going to go through and fill the rest of these in. 
and here you can see I've entered uh, all the parameters that I want to know about. There was one at the top I didn't need, so I can just kill these off by um, clicking connect. Right, so that's my form. I've now created the connections that I need within the form. Um, it's now going to be time to test it. So I'm just going to click out of this window. So I'm going to click on save up here now just to save my flow. That's now saved. And what I can now do, and you'll see here, it's actually saying to me your flow is ready to go. We recommend that you test it. So it's showing green, but I now need to simply test that flow. So to do that, um, I head over here to test. This will open up the do you want to test the flow? It will ask me how I want the flow to run so it can run automatically. Uh, or it can run via a trigger. I've obviously set this up. It needs a trigger. The trigger is the form. So I have to create a form in order for it to trigger. So I'm going to say I want to do it manually. What I'll need to do when I click test is I'll then need to go to the customer facing side of the form and complete the form. I'll do that. I'll complete the form and we'll see what happens in the background. So here we are within the front facing side of the form. So I'm going to go through now and submit the form. So I'm click on start and I'm going to enter the information that it's now asking me to do. So I'm going to type in my name and I'm going to run through the form now. So here we are, I've completed the form, filled everything in and all I need to do now is submit the form. So if I scroll down to the bottom of the form and I need to fill it out here. Do I want to be contacted for feedback? No, I don't. And I can click on submit. So there we go. I have now submitted that form. So what should be happening in the background is that form will be processed. It will be sent back. And what we should see is that the form gets, the Microsoft list gets automatically populated with the information from the form. And here we go, just popped in. Uh, if it doesn't, you can click on the refresh button. Obviously, we can now see that the form information that I request has been completed. So what have we got? We've got Starfleet. The employee name was John Luke Picard. I changed it in the form I originally said myself. Uh, on the captain, I've got good satisfaction. How was the event? What was my feedback? Um, fantastic, that's all the information that I need. Now that's in a Microsoft form, I can of course do lots of other things with it. I can visualize it, I can export it, I can share it. The fact is now that information is shared in a shared SharePoint list rather than being contained um, to the form that I've created. And again, if we go back into Power Automate and look at our flows down here, we can see this flow, we can see when it was created. We can see when it last run, and we get tips here as well if we want to, to, to edit it. We can look at analytics around the form. We can we can check it. We can share a copy, all the sort of things we want to do. Uh, it even gives me options here uh, of how I might choose to improve the flow. So click on that, it'll give me some, uh, give me some suggestions and things like that of how to make the form better. Um, but there we are, um, we've just created a automated flow to take information from a form and send the details to a SharePoint list. We didn't have to write any code. Uh, we did that using Copilot within Power Automate and then simply filled in the steps, nice and simple.